Hi and welcome to the second part video on how, how it's a response to how to create a, a multi-segment robot using SDF. So in the previous answer, uh, what I gave is instead of saying, okay, don't use SDFs, use chakras and URDF because it has better uh, integration with ROS. It's easier in that aspect and basically is the, the way to go, okay, the, the standard way. But reading in the comments, um, a user pointed out that there's a way of using um, SDF macros version. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give an example of how to do this more or less the same robot, but with SDF and SDF macros using Ruby. Okay, so let's go. So the first thing, I've used uh, ROS Development Studio to do this. It's a, a web-based uh, ROS development environment. And what I've done is, well, the first thing is I'm going to open the simulator. And we have a simulation already running here. And I'm going to now open my code editor, which I'll open in a different tab. Okay, so we have the following. So I, I created this SDF folder and inside it I've generated some files which I'm going to talk about now. So the first one is this one. So this is the the SDF version of the URDF chakra that we did in the previous video and essentially is just a, a three element, I think, three element or um, snake and there's nothing to comment about it, just that it's an SDF so if we go to our web shell that we have here let's go to simulations Let's do a Ross Lounge uh, snake description spawn SDF. And there we go. And there we have it. So it's a two element, sorry, it's a two element snake. And basically, is that. It's a more or less the same thing that we did in URDFs and chakras, but with SCF. Okay, but this uh, is not very interesting. So the thing, how do we do the same thing that we did here in chakras? That we defined like a template and then we copied as many times as, as we wanted the same element. Well, we use what it's called here on an ERB file, which is mixing SDFs and Ruby. And we're going to go step by step, but let's see the core of this. So the core is that you, you define here a for, and you repeat this part of code as many times as you want. And what we're doing here is repeating a segment, which is the segment of one body link and the auxiliary joint, the black joint. So we define here a link and a joint with a base link uh, that we define. The only one that we defined is this one which is the body link zero, let's say the base link. And what we do, but we give it a name that is compatible with then generating more and more. So here we're connecting it with the body link I minus one. So the first one would be the zero, then the one, two, three, four, five. And then we create this body link which is connected to the auxiliary body link. And we repeat this as many times as we want, okay? 
So we use uh, this tags that inside these tags it's Ruby and we define variables, we can define variables, functions and here we have defined for example variables for the number of bodies let's say the segments that we want to repeat in this case we put 30 then the body length the auxiliary body length that can be different and we'll see that we, it's different because it represents the joints then the body radius which is the same for both auxiliary and um, body, normal bodies and then this is something that we didn't do in the previous video which is recalculating the inertias based on the mass and the dimensions this way you just have to change the mass and it will recalculate all the inertias for the bodies and for the auxiliary body links and also if you change the radius and the length and so on and then also we have variables here to activate or deactivate in case you put a zero the self collisions so in this case we activated one okay so let's have a look and this has to be like between these tags okay every time that you use something related to Ruby is it's between these tags so in this case for example if you want to put a variable in this case self collide then you put these tags and then equals and the content which in this case is just a variable here the same thing with the body mass and so on which could be a value or this this more complex function well formula and then let's have a look here because this is the most difficult part which is inside the four you see that here I'm doing a very strange uh, calculations this is because we have to position the, the links in different positions and it has to be based on the, the length and of each element and because in SDFs it works a bit different from chakras and URDFs which um, makes it a bit more complex because this is absolute distance so the pose is not relative to anything but global so it makes it a bit more difficult to to position and to make this chakra work but you have to get the hang of it so in this case this is the formula to position the first element and then this one is the formula to position the second element okay this depends on the structure the geometry of the robot and so on but if you're doing something similar to this which is stacking two elements this formula will work just fine because you can see that it's it's parameterized with the variables also depending on the body length and I think that's quite it actually the only thing I, I haven't changed is I don't change the, the, the colors but that's something that you can do leave it in the comments below if you know how to do it or have any ideas and then and that's it then let's see how it works so I'm going to yeah yeah here okay ah so what I'm going to do is launch so you have to do two steps uh, let me have a look uh, here so the, the launch is exactly the same as we did in, for URDFs and so on. It's more or less the same thing. I'm not going to talk about it. And what I'm doing is launching, we're spawning a snake macro. And these, this snake macro, which is here because I'm, I've generated before, it has to be generated from this snake ERB. Okay, so how do we generate the this snake macro SDF based on this snake ERB so if we go to the web shell 
we use this command erb snake erb so we use the the file that we generated and we wanted to generate snake macro sdf so this i have to wait a sec let me go to the place that we have it so parcel snake description sdfs okay now what let me go up there we go so for example if i want to let's say put uh, let's put i don't know 45 elements so here let's put something smaller first so 15 elements and I generate this okay so SDF macro this one's the one and there we go There you go, so you have a multi-element snake spawned like that. And it has self-collisions, as you see, because this one is on top of this one, so perfect. And here you can play, so you, for example, you can do, you can put the same elements, but we do body length, let's put, uh, let's make radius, a bigger radius, like one, for example. And we go here and we we generate this is very important and then we launch again launch it again there we go now we have a very fat snake around here there you go or for example let's put it again as it was we can put as many elements as we want so let's put I don't know like uh, 45 I don't know let's go crazy we generate this and we spawn it and we go here there we go so now <laughs> And as you can see, this this couldn't be done by hand because it's 45 elements repeated one again and again and again and again. And not only that, but we can do the same thing. So we can change stuff. So we can do exactly the same thing, but let's put, for example, um, shorter. Let's do them shorter. Uh, and let's yeah let's deactivate for example the self collision so zero and we do this and then we spawn this again whoops sorry I can't spawn something that it's already there There we go. As you can see now, much shorter. And you see, the self-collisions are deactivated. That's why it's just passing through everything. And also we can, for example, as last test, we can activate again. And we can put, uh, let's make it really heavy. For example, this, and let's do this, let's launch it again, there we go, same snake, but heavier, and, and with self-collisions, as you can see there, now it's not going through.
So that's it. So thank you very much. If you like the video, give, a, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas on what to do next and so on, please leave it in the comments below. Subscribe and see you soon. Bye.